Good morning everyone! Welcome to my NSTP class. So our topic for today is all about the environmental education. Before we proceed to our main discussion, may I ask you what do you think is the environmental education? Or when you heard the word environmental education, what comes into your mind? Anyone? Very good. What else? Precisely, okay? So, when it talks about the environmental education, no, it is the process that allows everyone to explore the environmental issues or engage in any problem solving and of course, or to take action to improve environment. And the other definition of terms, environmental education is an across the curriculum approach to learning which help individuals and groups to understand the environment with the ultimate aim of developing, carrying, and committed attitudes that will foster the desirability to act responsibility to the environment. Okay, so let's proceed to the different principles related to environmental education. So number one here, class, is environmental education involves participatory processes. Ibig sabihin kung paano tayo makipag-cooperate when it talks about the environmental uh, improvements. No? What else? Environmental education is interdisciplinary and focuses on the interaction between environmental quality and development issues diba? just like what i've said a while ago on how we cooperate to to others to to improve and to develop the environment okay so what else environmental education is responsive to local context number four environmental education involves a range of innovatory teaching and learning strategies so what else there are opportunities for environmental education to be taught through and enhanced in all subject curriculum. That's why we have the NSTP for us to learn about the environmental education. I think not only in NSTP, but it is also in, in your science, in your AP. Yes, you will learn about the environmental issues. Okay, so how about the three approaches to environmental education? So, Number one, provides understanding of how natural system work. Okay, so of course, paano yung, yung paano natin intindihin, di ba? Kung bakit, bakit nagkakaroon ng ganito, bakit merong ganyan, bakit may ganitong issue, okay? What else? Provides understanding of the impact of human activities upon them. So of course, kailangan din natin intindihin kung ano yung mga Mangyayari in case na gagawin natin ito. Example, nagputol tayo ng punong kahoy. Ano nga ba yung kinahihinatnan nung ginawa natin? Okay? Meron at merong consequences yan. Okay? So, develop and develops environmental investigation and thinking skills. Okay? So, number two, education in the environment, environmental interpretation. Okay, gives reality, relevance, and practical experience to learning through direct contact with the environment. Example, uh, nagputol tayo ng punong kahoy, nagkaroon ng bagyo, bumaha. So, yun yung consequences natin, yun yung experience natin. So, sabi nga dito, we need to learn from our mistakes. Okay, what else? Develop skills for data gathering and analysis. Develop aesthetic appreciation. We need to appreciate everything, no? If, uh, example, meron tayong nakitang ganito sa, sa surroundings natin. We need to appreciate it. Kasi hindi natin alam, baka yung punong yun ay isa sa makakatulong sa atin. Okay? What else? Fosters environmental awareness and concern. Of course, kailangan uh, maging aware tayo na dapat hindi dapat wag natin gawin yung ganyan, wag natin i-allow yung mga taong nagaganito, illegal logging, mga ganyan. Okay? Next number three, education for the environment, a sustainable environment. Number one builds on education in and about the environment. Develop concerns and responsibility for the environment. Develop an environ environmental ethics. 
develop the motivation and skills to participate in any environmental ed, uh, improvement. So, yun nga, kailangan makipag-participate tayo, makipag-cooperate tayo kapag merong mga environmental improvements. Okay? Sa barangays natin, sa municipality natin, or kahit sa mga purok lang natin, no? Kapag sinabi ng kagawad na kailangan natin magganito, mag uh, maglinis, kailangan gawin din natin. Okay? What else? Promotes a willingness and ability to make lifestyle choices compatible with the wise use of environmental resources. Okay, by Meadows D. Okay, so that's it about the education for environment or a sustainable environment. So how about this one? Objectives of environmental education. So, of course, here are the objectives. Awareness. Okay? So, when it talks about the awareness, to help social group and individuals acquire and awareness and sensitivity to the total environmental or environment and issues. Ibig sabihin, dapat maging aware tayo kung ano yung mga nangyayari, kung ano yung dapat na na gagawin or kung ano yung yung kailangan nating gawin para ma-improve yung ating environment. What else? Knowledge. That's why we need we learned about the environmental education. So I hope you you apply this in a real life, no? Knowledge is to help individuals, group, and societies gain a variety of experience in and acquire a basic understanding of what is required to create and maintain a sustainable environment. Okay? So, if we learned about the environmental education, na we need to take care for this, we need to take care of our environment, uh, we should not uh, allow people to, to cut trees or in, instead of cutting trees, why should we uh, why shouldn't we apply the tree planting, di ba? Kailangan mag tree planting tayo instead na magputol-putol tayo or in case man na magputol tayo ng punong kaoy, dapat alam nating palitan yun, okay? Kung magputol tayo, dapat palitan natin yun, magtanim din tayo ng panibagong punong ka Okay, what else? Attitude. Okay, to help individuals, group, and societies acquire of a set values and feelings of concern for the environment. Example, a garden. Yung garden natin. Pag nakita natin na ang dumi-dumi, ang kailangan natin pulutin. Okay, maging sensitive tayo sa uh, surroundings natin, sa society natin. Okay, so what else? Skills to help individuals, group, and societies acquire the skills for identifying, anticipating, preventing, and solving environmental problems. Okay? So, of course, kailangan natin i-apply yung skills natin sa pag-improve nating environment. Okay? Kung paano natin improve ito, syempre, kailangan natin yung skills natin. Okay? Gawin natin to. Kung ano man yung pwedeng gawin, i-apply natin. Okay? So syempre meron tayo meron naman tayong nakikitang mga mga kailangan gawin. Example, sa paggawa na lang ng 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 garbage, okay? Paggawa na lang ng mga garbage. Ah, what else? Uh, participation. Okay, when it talks about the participation, ito yung yung example meron tayong meron at uh, tinawag tayo ng ating mga ating punong barangay or ating mga kagawad na kailangan maglinis sa daan, kailangan makipag-participate tayo. Okay? So, next, how about this one? Lesson 2, Earth character for a sustainable living. Okay? Earth character for a sustainable living in recognition of the world environment or Environment Month, environmental leaders from around the world seek to implement the Earth character for sustainable development and living to spread the word about the environmental awareness. So, not only in the Philippines, but of course, in the whole world. They are encouraging us to be aware and to participate in any kind of environmental improvements. Okay? By the way, what do you think is the Earth Charter? Anyone? Okay, what else? 
Okay, so when it talks about the Earth Charter, is a declaration of fundamental ethical principle for a building a just, sustainable, and peaceful global society in the 21st century. Okay, that is the Earth Charter. But how about the Earth Charter for a sustainable living? Anyone? Okay, so when it talks about the Earth Charter, no? Earth Charter for a sustainable living the earth charter is an exceptional and most important document it is not just the environmental charter but a people charter giving guidelines of how we should behave with one another with the earth with which we are inextricably bound and of which we are Part. So, ibig sabihin, when it talks about the Earth Charter, it is the guidelines, it is the documents that indicates about the awareness of the people. Okay? Okay, so how about the Earth Charter and its 16 general principles? Okay, so number one, respect and care for the community of life. Under the respect and care for the community of life, number one, respect earth and life in all its diversity. That means class recognize that all beings are interdependent and every form of life has a value regardless with its worth to human beings. So kung paano natin alagaan yung sarili natin, kailangan ganun din natin alagaan yung environment natin. Dahil sila din po ay may buhay. So, else, affirm faith in the inherent dignity of all human beings and in the intellectual, artistic, ethical and spiritual potential of humanity how about number two care for the community of life with understanding compassion and love okay under this accept that we are the right to own manage and use natural resources comes and duty to prevent environmental harm and to protect the rights of the people. Ibig sabihin, class, kung ano yung dapat natin gawin or kung paano natin, or kung ano yung dapat natin gawin para ma-improve yung environment, dapat gawin natin. Dapat i-manage natin kung ito ba ay nakakabuti sa environmental or environment natin. Kung, what else? Affirm that with increased freedom, knowledge and power comes increased responsibility to promote the common goods. Okay, that is under the care for the community of life with an understanding, compassion, and love. Okay? Next, number three, build democratic societies that are just participatory, sustainable, and peaceful. Ibig sabihin, to ensure that communities that all level levels guarantee human rights and fundamental freedoms and provide environment an opportunity to realize his or her full potential. What else? Promote social economic justice, enabling all to achieve a secure and meaningful livelihood that is ecologically responsible. Yan. Okay? Da dapat uh, makipag-participate tayo. Kailangan isipin natin yung, yung, yung peaceful environment. Diba? Wag example, may natumba na puno sa inyong mga bahay. Hahayaan mo na lang ba? Mayaan mo na dyan. Dun na, instead na, na dun, dun sana yung lalakaran mo, anong mangyayari? Ikaw yung mag adjust So, do you think peaceful yung loob mo na mag adjust ulit sa other way? Hindi. Okay? So, para maging peaceful ka, bumalik sa dati, kailangan ayusin mo yon Okay? So, what else? Number four, secure earth's bounty bounty and beauty for present and future generation. Okay. okay, pinapaganda nila para in the future makikita din ma, uh, may apply din ng kanilang mga anak yung mga nakikita nila na ginagawa natin bilang parents or ginagawa natin bilang panganay na uh, bilang elders nila. Okay? So what else? How about this ecological integrity? Okay? Protection and restore the integrity of Earth's ecological system with special concerns for, for biological 
for biological diversity and the natural processes that sustain life. Okay, A. Adapt at all levels sustainable development plans and regulation that makes environmental conservation and rehabilitation integral to all environmental initiatives. Diba? Mag, uh, pwede tayong mag, mag uh, tanim ng punong kahoy or kung may nakita tayong mga 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 melina, mga ganyan, pwede nating i-transfer yung mga buto nila. Okay, pwede nating itanim. O, diba? Alagaan. Okay? Okay? Establish and safeguard visible nature and biosphere reserve including wildlands and marine areas to protect Earth's life support system maintaining biodiversity and preserve our natural heritage. What else? Promote the recovery of endangered species and ecosystem. Okay, so dapat uh, sabihin natin sa kapwa natin na dapat ganyan, gawin natin, ayusin natin yun, okay, or di kaya protektahan natin yun, or di kaya uh, itrim natin yun, okay, ganon. What else? Control the eradicate non-native or genetically modified organism harmful to native species and the environment and prevent introduction of such harmful organism. Okay? Manage the use of renewable resources such as water, soil, forest product, and marine life in ways that do not exceed the rates of regeneration and that protects of health of ecosystem. Okay, example, yung, yung mga reusable natin na gamit. Okay, example. Next, prevent harm as the best method of environmental protection. And when knowledge is limited, apply a precautionary approach. So that means take action to avoid the responsibility of serious or reversible environmental harm. Example, meron tayong nakitang uh, parang inaabuso yung yung environment, no? Yung illegal logging or di kaya yung pagtapon ng basura sa sa dagat, no? Dapat sabihin natin, okay? Pagsabihan natin yung mga taong abusado. Okay? Next, adapt pattern of reproduction, consumption and reproduction that safeguard earth's regenerative capacities, human rights and communities or community well-being. Okay? Reduce, reuse, and recycle the materials. Yan. Yan yung, yung mga bagay-bagay na dapat na nating alam since nung una pa, nung elementary pa lang. ba? Kasi nileson na natin yan. Kung meron tayong, meron tayong iba't-ibang garbage, no, na nakalagay, um, uh, biodegradable, degradable, okay, yung mga ganun, dapat alam natin kung saan natin ilalagay yung mga basura natin, okay? Example, yung plastics, okay? Yung plastic, itatapon mo ba? Wag, wag na wag mo yan itatapon kasi pwede mo naman yang gamitin, okay? Pwede mo pa naman yan ibalik or pwede mo pa naman yang gamitin ulit, okay? Wag agad itatapon kung saan, lalong-lalo na kung saan-saan. Or dapat alam natin, itapon sa tamang tapunan yung ating mga uh, basu basura. Okay? What else? Next is advance the study of ecological sustainability and promote the open exchange and wide application of the knowledge acquired. Okay? Support international scientific and, and technical cooperation on sustainability with special attention to the needs of developing nation. Dapat suportahan natin, example, may nag-declare na about sa environmental improvements or environment improvements. Dapat suportahan natin yon instead na naaayawan natin. Okay? So, what else? Okay, so let's proceed to the social and economic justice Eradicate poverty as an ethical, social, and environmental imperative. So that means guarantee the right to portable water, clean air, food security. Dapat alam natin yan. Okay, kung expired na, wag nang kainin. Okay, yung clean air naman, dapat ayusin natin yung environment natin para yung malanghat natin is fresh hindi yung yung puro na lang air pollution okay uncontaminated soil shelter 
di ba yung bahay natin, yung mga damit natin, mga kailangan natin sa katawan, and safe sanitation, allocating the national and international resources required. Okay, so dapat kailangan nating alam yan. Okay, kailangan dapat alam natin yan. Okay, and next, okay, next. Ensure that economic activities and institution that all levels promote human development in an equitable and sustainable manner. That means promote the equitable distribution of wealth within nation and among nation. Okay, dapat sabihin natin kung may nalalaman tayo, ishare natin sa ibang lugar or ibang community. Okay, next. Affirm gender equality and equity as prerequisite to sustainable development and ensure universal access to education, healthcare, and economic opportunities. Secure the human rights of women and girls, women and girls, and all violence against them. Okay, so what else? Promote the active participation of women in all aspects of economic, political, civil, social, and cultural life as full equal patterns, uh, partners, decision makers, leaders, and beneficiaries. So, dapat i-promote natin bilang isang babae, no, sabihin natin, okay, sa mga, sa mga, sa mga kapwa natin, or di kaya, di ba, sabi nga nila, yung mga gawain na ng mga lalaki ngayon, kaya nang gawin ng mga babae. Okay, so dapat, wag tayong magpapatalo. Okay, so what else? Dapat makipag-participate tayo kahit alam natin hindi natin kaya, why not na itry natin? Okay, bilang isang babae. Wala namang masama kung subukan, di ba? Okay, next. Uphold the right of all without discrimination to a natural and social environment supportive of human dignity, body health, and spiritual well-being with special attention to the right of indigenous people and minorities. Okay, peoples and minorities. Okay, that means eliminate discrimination. Dapat huwag natin i-allow yung sarili natin na kapag may nakita tayo, is i-discriminate na natin sila. Okay, dapat iwas-iwasan natin yon. Okay, such as the base on race, color, sex, sexual. That's why I think last meeting ata yun or last topic natin na, i- na i-tackle natin about dun sa respect, no? Para iwas arguments, di ba? Okay, iwas natin yung discrimination. Okay, what else? So, yan, yung sex, sexual, orientation, religion, languages, national, ethic, or social origin. What else? How about this one? Democracy, nonviolence, and peace. Okay, strengthen democrat, uh, democratic institution at all levels and provide transparency and accountability in governance, inclusive participa- uh, participation in decision making and access to justice. Okay, that means support local, regional, and global civil society and promote the meaningful participation of all interested individuals and organization in decision making. Example, may may sinabi yung 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 member mo na pwedeng ganito, why not na i-apply natin yun? As long as nakakabuti naman sa environment natin, as long as nakakabuti naman sa society natin, why not na palinggan naman natin yung ideas ng ibang tao? Okay? What else? Integrate into formal education and lifelong learning the knowledge, values, and skills needed for a sustainable way of life. Ibig sabihin, promote contribution of the art humanities as well as science sciences in sustainability education or provide all especially children youth o kayo yan di ba with educational opportunities that empower them to contribute actively to sustainable development that's why we learned this kind of topic no for us to apply in a real life then after this after you learned the, this topic Pwede mong i-share to your community members. Pwede mong i-share to others, di ba? For them to to uh, learn also. For them to to apply. Okay? Kung ano yung pwede mong sabihin. Kung ano yung pwede mong i-share sa kanila. Okay? Next. Treat all living begins with respect and consideration. Okay? Prevent 
uh, cruelly to animals kept in human societies and protect them for suffer from suffering. Protect wild animals from met method of hunting, trapping, and fishing that cause extreme, prolonged, or avoidable suffering. Okay? Dapat kung meron, na, meron tayong nakita na, di ba, yung binabaril yung mga ibon, or di kayo nag sila ng mga ganitong animals, dapat uh, pagsabihan natin sila. Next, promote a culture of tolerance, non-violence, and peace. Next, Lesson 3, Ecological Solid Management Act of 2000. It is under the Republic Act 9003. Okay, so what is it all about? Republic Act 9003 or 9003 considers waste as resources that can be recovered, emphasizing recycling, reuse, and composting as method to minimize and ev eventually manage waste program. Okay? When you heard about the recycling, to recycle any materials na pwede nating uh, gamitin pa, di ba? Yung instead na itatapon mo, pwede mo pang i-recycle. -re okay? Reuse. O, di ba? Gamitin. Just like yung sinabi ko kanina, plastic, straw. Okay, what else? Composting. O, oh, ba? Yung mga, yung mga plastic na na fan cham natin, pwede natin gawing bag. ba? Itahi lang natin yun. Okay? So, yun yung mga kailangan natin i-apply. Yun yung under dito sa Republic Act 9003. Okay? This act aims to ensure the protection of the public health and environment okay it is uh, the other way to protect the environment utilize environmentally sound method that maximize the utilization of valuable resources and encourage resource conversation and recovery okay yan yung aims what else reduce solid waste through source reduction and waste minimize mini Minimization, minimization measures including composting, recycling, reuse, recovery, green charcoal process. Yan, lahat yan kailangan nating i-apply. Yan yung aim ng 9003 or the RA9003. Tandaan nyo ha, the 9003, it is the way on how we emphasize the recycling. What else? Reuse composting yan okay to apply this kind of method in our life or in a real life okay so what else o, wag na natin basahin lahat no let's proceed to environmental issues and concern of course we have the different kinds of issues concern no what, what are these worldwide in developed and developing countries, environmental problems are among the most important concerns facing people and their government. The problem include climate change. Oh, what is climate change? Very good. Okay, population growth, poverty, deforestation, pollution of water, pollution of air or air pollution, Soil, river basin, deterioration, waste, disposal, and loss of species. Yan, yung mga concern and problems or issues natin sa ating environment. Okay? There are risks associated with all these problems affecting almost every activity in life. Living always polluting, especially when one fails to manage it. ba? Kapag hindi natin na-manage yung sarili natin, tapon natin dun. Ano yun? Waste pollution. ba? Hindi natin, or di kaya kapag yung, yung sasakyan natin, ba? Yung sobrang ingay, yung mga muffler yan, o pag hindi natin na-minimize yun, hindi natin na-maximize, uh, na-minimize yun, hindi natin uh, na-limitahan yun, ano mangyayari? That is under the noise, pollution. ba? Yan. Okay, does our Mother Earth is facing problems that are not only local but most of which are the global problem? Next, number one class is the river basin de uh, deterioration. What is river basin deterioration? 
The Philippine Basin are the varying state of degra degradation. That means there are 74 to 78 million tons of soil. Napakarami. Maximum tol uh, tolerable limits its 12.5 tons annually. Yan lang dapat. Pero napakarami na 78 to uh, 74 to 78 millions na. Being lost annually affecting 64 to 77% of the country's total land area. Diminishing groundwater resources has led to 20 to 30% reduction in irrigated areas since 1973. Stream flow has been erratic. Land productivity has been declining. Biodiversity has been lost and the microclimate has deteriorated. How about the climate change? Okay, what is climate change again? Very good. Okay, it refers to the global changes in temperature. That's why we have this kind of disaster or the natural disaster. Alam nyo na yon. Okay, which is the landslide. Flood, typhoon, that's it, under the climate change. Wind patterns and pres uh, prescription. According to the United Nations Framework Convention on the Climate Change, or what we call it, the UNFCCC, it is attributed directly or indirectly to human activities and natural climate var variability observed over comparable time methods. So it is not only the human activity, but it is also the natural climate variabilities. So what else? We have the ways of reduce greenhouse gas emission. Save electricity. Gaya ng sabi ko kanina, na meron ng mga e-trike, okay, or di kaya meron ng solar, I mean, di ba yung may, may solar na, para uh, to reduce using electricity. Be energy efficient. Oh. Yan pa. There are many energy efficient choices now available in the market from compact floor, fluorescent light bulbs to hybrid cars. So, di ba yun yung inexplain sinabi ko kanina yung e-try? Yan. Plant trees. So, that's why we have the tree planting na activity sa ating mga institution, sa ating paaralan. Okay? And remember the four R's. So, what are the four R's again? Reduce, reuse, recycle, and repair. Don't forget the four R's. Again, reduce, reuse, recycle, and repair. That, that are the four R's. See? Okay. So, how about this one? Educate yourself and others. Okay? So, useless kung nag-aaral nag ka ngayon or useless kung kung nakikinig ka ngayon, kung hindi mo rin lang may apply sa real life, dapat i-apply mo ito, okay? I-educate mo yung self, yung sarili mo. I-motivate mo yung sarili mo na kailangan protektahan at kailangan uh, i-apply natin kung ano yung mga natutunan natin tungkol sa environmental education, okay? And of course, you need to or you must need to share this topic or share this this uh this uh, learnings to others okay to your community members or to your family okay so do you have any problem again what is ecology again very good okay so ecology from the greek word oikos which means house and logos okay which means the study of Mm -hmm. Okay, study of relationship between living organism, including humans and their physical environment. How about ecosystem? Very good. Okay, describe a set of living organism and the totality of physical and biological factors. Okay, how about the biosphere? Okay, when you heard biosphere, very good. It is the shell of air, water, and soil spanning the earth in which all non-life exists. How about the earth charter again? Very good. Okay. It is the fun fundamental values and principle considered useful by supporters for building 
a just, sustainable, and peaceful global society or what we call it the guidelines for us to be aware. Okay? What else? How about ecological solid waste, uh, solid waste management? Very good. Shall refer to the systematic administration of activities. How about the agricultural waste? Yun yung last inexplain ko kanina. Okay, it shall refer to waste generated for planting, harvesting of crops. Yan yung mga ginagamit natin na uh, para mag-harvest. Yun yung, yun yung mga, anong tawag doon? Yung mga rotor, reaper, yan. Okay, what else? Bulky waste. Bulky waste means materials which cannot be approximately uh appropriately cannot be appropriately placed in separate containers because of either its bulky size, shape or other physical attributes that is bulky waste. How about hazardous waste? Correct. Hazardous waste refers to solid waste management or combined combination solid waste which because of its Quantity, concentration, or physical, chemical, or infection characteristics may cause. Okay? How about solid waste? Correct. It refers to the discarded household, a discarded household, commercial waste, non-hazardous, in, uh, institutional, and industrial ways uh, like street uh, street sweeping construction debris agricultural waste and other non-hazardous non-toxic solid waste okay how about the composting when it talks about composting okay it is the control the composition very good so i hope plus you've learned something today okay so thank you so much for listening uh goodbye and god bless